I first kind of gained exposure to the IEC uh, work through the utility back in Canada, uh, through IEC 61850. I was requested to do a feasibility study, uh, at which point I looked further into the standard and became quite intrigued about the, the potential of the standard. And that was uh, uh, quite a few years ago, so the standard has really evolved over the years and through that evolution, uh, my passion and interest has, has only gained. Uh, the first uh, technical committee that I was involved in was, was TC57, uh, specifically with Working Group 10, which is responsible for IEC 61850, which is the standard used for substation and distribution automation. Uh, following that uh, involvement, uh, I progressed to become more involved on the Smart Energy and Smart Grid Initiative, uh, becoming nominated as the Canadian Chair for the, Smart, uh, the IEC Smart Energy Systems Committee which is the mirror committee to the IEC. Uh, what I found valuable is, is probably best summarized in, in three points. One, the connections I've been making with the other young professionals uh, from the different national committees. Uh, the second would be uh, the connections I'm making within uh, the IEC in terms of the, the officers and the other experts. And, and number three would be the, um, the, the, what the learning process of, of understanding how the IEC processes work, the structure and all the, all the logistics and, and mechanics behind the, behind the actual uh, development of these standards. My suggestion for, for the up and coming uh, young professionals would be to get involved and get involved early. Uh, there's lots to learn from both a technical pers perspective as well as from a process and, and uh, an organizational perspective. And the sooner that they can become comfortable with the IEC's processes, structures, and other systems that, uh, that are used to, as support systems, the quicker they can focus on the actual technical aspect and, and become more, that much more productive in, uh, in contributing towards the standards.